Now the DAX is the home of the German stock market and I'll be looking at the DAX 40 which is the 40 biggest best German companies out there and they have some good ones in there Adidas, Bass, Merck, BMW, you know the list goes on They're world famous names and the DAX index itself is one of the most popular day trading indexes to trade it is a really great market to get involved with very popular CFD spread betting futures options a great all-round market and this time of year it's normally quite bullish due to seasonality factors but what's going on with the price right now well I'm going to have a look in chart of the day hello I'm Stephen Hope trader and founder of the stock hunter <laughs> So before we can carry on, a risk warning for you to pay close attention to. The content in this video is not investment advice, so please seek the advice, help of financial professionals or financial advisors before investing and trading. And trading and investing involves a high degree of risk and your money is at risk, so be very careful. So with that out the way, let's get on with the analysis. So the weekly line chart for the DAX 40, it's longer term, go back about five years to 2016. And I've drawn on quite a bit of you know, trend lines and channels on here to highlight some key points of these sort of stock indices. And they are great to trade because they do create re very repeatable patterns, levels, numbers, you know, so I find them great fun to trade and they're definitely worth a look at if you don't um, get involved with them at the moment. So on to the chart itself, you can see the purple channel upwards, that's really from 2020, you can see how bullish the market has been since then and most of it has stayed within that channel until sort of recently when it's popped out and gone a bit flat and you can see that green trend line that I've put under the price around about 15,000 you can see it's hit that three times so a good support area now these indexes also do like round numbers very much so you can use those as a warning and a target and you know, risk management but at the moment it's sort of stuck in the middle of that 15,000 up to the highs in the early 16,000s and you can also see downside wise 13 and a half thousand over the years has been a popular sort of area number and below that you then go down to about 10,000 but at the moment if you're talking your long term it's been bullish but slowing down and in the real short term it's just picking up again after bouncing off that 15,000 zone now for four line break entries and these will be reversals to the upside this week and the areas that you'd be interested in, remember I use a four line break with a two bar aggressive entry firstly which would get you in at 16,000 area and secondly if you were using a four four line break then 16,250 would be your next entry point and I'm going to marry that into the stochastic indicator at the bottom there and that is yet to cross and turn up through the 20 so nothing there at the moment and that's set on the daily chart so it's a bit of a wait again you can speed that up if you're a day trader by dropping the time frames down to say one hour four hour to give you like I say quicker entries now the daily high Kanashi our signals at the bottom are mixed we've got a regression that's bullish and we've got an RSI that is bearish and our volatility has picked up to 23.8% per annum which is a lot higher than its longer term average of about 10% so that's a good sign because it means things are picking up more activity going on and on to the price again I've put in that trend line there around about 15,000 you can see how many times that's hit and bounced over 2021 I see four roughly over the year so far and that's where that break up from February time sort of slowed down a bit as well and you can see most of price action was it was actually within that two standard deviation regression trend that's the pink 
salmony and light blue shaded areas until recently it just popped out and has gone back in and it's sitting in the middle of the two pink line box breakout setup and well, it's giving you a lot of options to the upside being at the bottom of those bands so maybe especially with the seasonality factor played in at this time of year it's normally quite strong for the DAX then there could be some upside potential there so for the Renko chart I've used a 60 block size and our signals at the moment the bottom two that's the RSI and the stochastic are both bearish the regression is still bullish but it's heading towards bearishness and you can see on the price there that turned around in the blocks recently to the 78.6 percent Fibonacci line uh, 15,600 area and if we're talking in terms of price targets the upside next is the high 16 to 50 55 and then on up to 17,000 down Sidewise, if it goes below this 15600 area, then there's a lot of noise around 15150 and below that 14470 and the lows that were seen in February time of you know 13368 13500, which is another one of those um, key trend lines that I pointed out. But at the moment, I'd say it's probably a bit neutral there for the DAX on the Renko. With DAX seasonality at play to the upside, then I'm going to give the DAX a weak bullish overall up score. See the Heiken Ashi, which is a longer term picture, looking more bullish than the shorter term Renko at the moment. So there could be some good buy the dip opportunities using that four line break chart like we discussed. 16,000, 6,250, some numbers there. And to focus on the targets, 0 0.8, 2.4 to one to the upside and 1.56 and 2.33 to the downside but overall a weak bullish outlook you can make a whole career out of trading just a single stock index like this the DAX it offers so many different opportunities and so oh, allows and caters for so many different trading styles and approaches and it's one that's definitely on my shortlist and if you want to learn or know where to trade this and you're not sure where to go then ask me in those comments below and also throw into those comments what you think of today's analysis do you agree disagree where do you think the DAX is going next can you know Christmas seasonality push it up or is the Omicron virus going to knock it on the head over the next few months i say let me know love to hear from you and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons to receive future notification of content i'm going to be producing and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video